thank you uh, for the opportunity to attend the annual meeting and have a few moments on the agenda. As Chad said, I'm Ronnie Lee in the little town of Bronwood, and we grow cotton, corn, peanuts, and, and uh, pecan. Uh, I currently serve as the first vice president of Southern Cotton Growers and will assume the, presi the presidency next week at our annual meeting. Uh, our organization represents uh, Every cotton produced in the southeast regions, that's Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. Uh, before I go any further, I'd like to thank Georgia Cotton Commission President uh, Mike Lucas from Chester, Georgia, for not only the continued monetary support for, for Southern cotton growers, but for the many farm leaders that have served our organization and the industry with distinction. Uh, I'd like to recognize Chuck Coley, Lee Cromley, and, and Lee will, will be going on to the executive committee as an ex-officio member from Georgia. Uh, Tim Crosby, Chad Mathis, Stephen Meeks, Mike Lucas, currently the board members that uh, I recognized earlier. Also, uh, Bob McClendon, Louis Perry, Chuck Lee, as past presidents of Southern Cotton Growers. Uh, well, I'll make a comment right there. Uh, I couldn't decide when I wanted to make it, but you know, I listened to what Chad said about me. I, if anybody has like it has time to serve this industry let somebody know you know i'm fortunate enough to have three grown sons working with me and allows me to be gone and a lot of people don't but some of you that that have grown children in the back in your business and you and you have time to serve our industry let that be known because uh, I get asked and we all get asked about the, as they mentioned, the pie group and policy head and the cotton, the cotton industry is, is really structured and does a great job and it's hard to come up with people sometimes when Jim Davis will call me or Chuck or whoever and say, we need two, we need two guys from Georgia. And you think, well, that'd be easy, but it's hard to get somebody to commit and, and commit and be there. So many times people will, will say they'll go, and then at the last minute they can't. So if you got somebody like to do it. But the people that I just mentioned, uh, and I remember when Bob McClendon sort of, I, I say he took me on his wing and, and, and when I came into the cotton business, but he said, he said, we need somebody that'll go to the meetings. And a lot of y'all do a, a lot better job than I will. But you gotta be committed to go. So I, I just wanna throw that out and, and uh, you think about it. Uh, I'll move on. I wanna recognize Executive Director Richie Seaton and his assistant, Martha Harris. I think Richie does a great job of promoting uh, Georgia cotton and the whole industry and uh, serves many, many fronts and, and, on, and is an advisory, ad, advisor to the Southern Cotton Growers. And I'd like to thank you, the grower, for it's because of you we exist. Uh, for the 12th consecutive year since 2002, the Board of Directors of Southern Cotton Growers has again maintained their commitment to the Cotton Council's International Cotton USA program. Even in the midst of uh, tough time, tough budget times, the leadership has proved this medal by contributing $100,000 or 20% of actual dues collected for the, 
for the 2014 fiscal year. Uh, we, in the, in the, let's see, we've added up the past years since, uh, since then, we, as Southern Cotton Growers to date, have contributed a million forty three thousand sixteen dollars. So that's 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 pretty good. Cotton USA program is dedicated to promoting US exports, cotton fiber, value added products such as yarn and, and uh, fabric. It is only through the adequate demand that we can ensure a return to profitability for our industry. The industry or private contributions are a key factor to determining whom USDA allocates the available funds and Southern Cotton Growers' contribution continues to help CCI immensely in this effort. CCI must compete with 80 organizations representing other ag interest or ag products for a share of the limited public funding. The usual leverage calculated from private contributions is four or five to one. So it's a, it's a good investment. Southern Cotton Growers is pleased to make this contribution on behalf of the membership and state organization affiliates who generous, who generous contributions enable us to contribute this commitment. It gives CCI the added resources to intensify Cotton USA from programs at a time when U.S. fiber, yarn, and fabric ex exports are more important than ever to our cotton industry and cotton economy. Uh, as stated in the organization's preamble, our mission is to, to work to maintain profitability throughout the Southeast cotton industry by whatever means available, a promise we intend to keep. Maintaining a, a viable safety net for family farmers and southern cotton growers number one priority. We have a standing farm policy committee made up of grower leadership throughout the southeast. Their charge is to analyze various policy options for farm bill, future farm bill consideration, and to make recommendations to the board of, on matters that are best interest of Southeast cotton industry. From there, we will pursue the appropriate channels and chain of command to support our agenda, which includes lobbying trips to Washington and, and working very closely with the National Cotton Council. However, this committee will not meet at the upcoming annual meeting next week because there are no policy considerations that warrant the committee's attention now. As a matter of fact, Government Relations Committees, several of you who are in this room uh, will travel to Washington early in the spring. Uh, this, this, uh, the, the purpose of the committee is mainly for farm bill preservation. This will be an extremely important trip to ensure that new farm bill is properly administered. Chain is no, the chain is no better than the power that pulls it. In our case, the power is Political Action Committee, Committee for the Advancement of Southeast Cotton, or CASC. As you are well aware, our industry remains under attack on several fronts throughout the world, and those within Congress and administration who are against viable family farm operations. Uh, and I might say, when, I say, when uh, I've gotten into some conversations before about family farms, uh, size doesn't matter. Uh, we, if, it's a, if, if it's today a family farm has to be a larger farm than some people in Washington think it should be to survive. But uh, uh, we have many friends in Washington, yet their ability to 
to be vigilant in their support of our way of life to come together in the future is certain to say the least, is uncertain to say the least. We must remain, remain vigilant in our support of these leaders through contributions to their campaigns. The Committee for the Advancement of Co Southeast Cotton's sole objective is to assist those individuals in their election and re-election efforts. Our major funding initiative, 2012-13, the Leadership Southern Southeastern, decided in lieu of the Gator Raffle that had been in the past for many years, uh, we would try our luck at a reverse raffle. It took Jimmy Webb and I about three years, I think, to finally convince the rest of us, but last year it was successful and uh, the first one uh, made over $50,000 for CASC, which is a new record. Uh, Southern Cotton Growers has for the fast, past few years spearheaded several unprecedented cooperative research projects between land-grant universities and Cotton Incorporated. More than anything, we have developed a means by which to address regional concerns in an expeditious and uh, most effective manner. The state support chairs from the six southeastern states will meet at an upcoming annual meeting next week to determine if there is any need or consensus among the states to pursue a new regional research project at this time. Southern Cotton Growers remains a strong producer advocate and 100% committed to Southeast cotton industry. Again, thank you for the opportunity to be here with you today and for your continued support of Southern Cotton Growers. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming season. Thank you.